guys, uh, Ruth here and welcome to my channel. This is my first video today so I'm a little bit nervous and sorry if the lighting is bad or the camera is bad, I'm not too sure what I'm doing yet. So today I just filmed this look, um, it's just a really simple everyday look. So I hope you enjoy and keep watching if you want to see how I got this look. Bye! So I'm going to start off by taking my Benefit Stay Don't Stray primer and just apply that to my lids. So I'm going to start off by taking um, Milk Chocolate from the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. So I'm just putting that um, just in my crease and kind of up. So then I'm going to take um, Semi Sweet, which is just like a darker brown. And I'm going to place that kind of more precisely in my crease. So then for my lid colour, I'm going to take um, Salted Caramel. It's kind of, it, it's like a matte shade here, so I'm going to take that. Uh, then normally what I like to do is go back in with semi sweet just to darken up ever so slightly. So that's actually all I'm going to do in my eyes because it is every day. I'm not going to put on um, eyeliner. I'm not going to put on false lashes. So um, I'm going to move on to my base now. Taking the Rimmel Lasting um, Finish Primer. actually going to do my eyebrows um, and I'm using the Brow Archery by Soap and & Glory and I actually haven't used many Soap & Glory makeup products this is the first one I bought and I actually really really like it so I think I'm probably going to go back in and kind of invest in more of their stuff because it looks really good and they're obviously quite good quality so yeah I definitely think I will be purchasing more from them so I'm just brushing out my eyebrows and I'm just going to lightly fill them in. Once again, I don't want anything too dramatic. Uh, on nights out, I would tend to use kind of darker shades and like more gel formulas and things so that it'll stay longer. But because it's every day, I don't feel like I need that. So I'm just going to... And please forgive the stain of my brows. I don't have the most amazing eyebrows. Okay, so they're my finished eyebrows. So yeah, I really recommend this product. I really like it for that kind of everyday look. So next, I'm going to go in with my foundation. And I'm using the Revlon Color Stay. And I have the um, Oilies Combination Skin One. And um, I really like this foundation. Now, I used to get it all the time. And then I kind of stopped getting it for a while. Um, and I'm not sure if they might have like changed the formula or something because it's not quite how I remember it. It's not quite as good, but I still do like really like it. So now that I've my foundation on, I'm just gonna move on to concealer. I always use the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer, and I use it in Fair One. I have used this for like years, like literally it is the best concealer ever. Like I'm not even joking. So I'm just gonna blend that all into my skin using my damp Real Technique Beauty Blender once again. So now I have that all blended in. And I'm going to set it all in place just with my powder. I don't tend to bake really unless I'm kind of going on a night out because I find um, it just kind of makes my skin look super cakey and you know that's not the look I'm going for when it is a day to day look. So I will do that on a night out but not for um, every day purposes really. This is a super mattifying powder. It's the Maybelline um, Matte Maker and it's so mattifying. Like it, it works. It's really really good. I really really like it. Okay 
so then I am going, and I have my hair up. I know I look kind of bald, but whatever. I am going to move on to some contour to give my face a little bit of dimension because I don't feel like it has much in at the moment. So I'm going to take the NYX uh, blush in taupe. This is what I use when, because sometimes I have a tan, so if I do, then I would tend to use my Hoola Bronzer as more of a contour, but I think this suits paler skin, so I'm just going to use this one today, because I have no tan on at the moment. So, I'm going to blend that in. Now, I do like a strong contour, even in an everyday situation, I love contour. I go into the hollows of my cheeks and blend up. I never would blend down. So we should always blend up. Then I take some just onto my forehead and up. And my temples on my forehead again. Of course, you have to do both sides. Then I go under. Should I cancel out that double chin? It doesn't really work. But I like to try. So I'm just going to go back in a little bit more here, just so that I make that area quite defined. So that is my contour finished. Next I'm going to be doing blush. I'm going to take the Balm Cosmetics. This is the Luminizers, this is the 3 them in one kind of version. So I'm going to take the Cindy Luminizer blush, on my Real Techniques brush, and just pop some of that on. I mainly put this like, kind of at the back of my cheekbones here. I don't really... I don't really put on the apples of my cheeks. I put it more back here because I feel like that gives a better contoured kind of feel. Now I'm going to go on to highlighter. Oh, I actually forgot I didn't contour my nose. So, I'm going to do that first. Taking this little sleek, I guess from sleek brush, and just going down my nose. I'm not the best at this, but I feel like it does make a difference. Even the little bit that I do does tend to make a difference to my face. And I just put some under there and in the middle of my cupid's bow just to give the illusion of bigger lips. I have quite small lips, but I like the look of big lips, so I like to pretend I have them. So next I'm taking my Sleek Highlighting Palette in uh, Solstice, and I'm taking this shade down here, um, I'm not really sure what it's called, but so I'm taking this and just putting it on the top of my cheeks. And this stuff is amazing. And I'm going to put some down my nose, on top of my lip, and I'll put some on my eyebrow later. So sorry I might be at a slightly different angle now because I had to go and delete some footage and stuff I didn't have enough memory. So anyway, moving on to my eyes again. So I'm taking the semi sweet and just placing it underneath my bottom lash line. Just to give it a slightly more smoked out kind of look. Um, okay, so next I am going to put on mascara. I'm going to be using two different mascaras. Um, first I'm going to take my uh, Volume in Million Lashes by L'Oreal. Honestly, honestly this is probably my favourite mascara. So I'm just going to curl my lashes. And apply my mascara. So next I'm going to take the NYX Doll Eyes Mascara. So that is my mascara completed and I know I do have some kind of, um, you know, bits of mascara like on my eyelid and stuff but I'll clean them up once it's dried because I think that's the easiest way to get rid of it. Um, so next I'm going to put highlight um, onto my brow bone and... 
I'm going to take my sleep palette again. Uh, but this time I'm going to go in with this shade down here. It's kind of a bit lighter. So, okay. So, next I'm going to go on to my lips. So, I'm going to my MAC lip liner in Spice. And I use this, like, all of the time. Literally all the time. So... And next I'm just going to go in with my MAC lipstick in Honey Love. And I really like this lipstick. This is one again I use kind of when I'm paler. So I love Velvet Teddy. That's probably my favourite. But I think that just looks a teeny bit better when I'm more tanned and kind of bronzed up. So I'm using Honey Love today. So guys that is my finished look today. Um, it's really quick and easy. So I hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for more videos. Bye.